Hello guys, how are you feeling? You have taken CAT and now you must be wondering how many percentiles will I get? Well, this video is all about that. Based on difficulty level of all the slots, we are going to analyze, we are going to see how many percentiles you can get, you can expect based on your expected score. So this video has an assumption that you must have calculated your expected stores, scores by now. So let's begin and let's delve into slot number one. Well, slot number one was difficult for people. Why? Because probably they were not expecting a tough DLR section and they got a very tough DLR section in slot one. Also, they were para jumbles. So all these things should be taken into consideration while calculating the scores or rather percentiles of slot one. Based on all the analysis, here is the table. Well, if you are getting somewhere around 45 to 50 marks, believe me, you can get a 90 percentile. And if I break down uh, in VA, it would be around uh, around about 20 to 24 marks. Reason being shock value of para jumbles, number one. Number two, VA was tricky this time. Across the slot, it was tricky. And uh, second slot was slightly easier tied. Otherwise, it was tricky across the slot. So expect a 22 to 24 marks uh, kind of pattern. The difficulty level was quite close to CAT 2023. Also in CAT 2023, they asked para, two questions of para jumbles, two questions of para completions, two questions of odd and two questions of summary. The pattern was also similar. And thus, this is in line with 2023, uh, roughly in a score of 23.5 people were able to get a 90 percentile in 2023. So it is based on that only. If I talk about DLR, as, as I just discussed, DLR was one of the toughest sections this time. And especially slot one, the, the cases were tricky, although directions were not, uh, uh, a lot of directions were not there in, in a particular case, but still they were difficult to crack. Once people were able to crack a case, then they were able to score it. So if I compare it with 2024, it was quite difficult. But if I compare it with 2023, it was slightly easy. Why slightly easier? Because of uh, number of directions per question. And thus, we expect in uh, roughly 16 to 18 marks, you should, should be, you should be able to get a 90 percentile. If I talk about QA, QA was shocker this time, toughest section. Uh, questions were lengthy, they were time consuming. Most of the questions were based on uh, arithmetic, although a fair bit of representation was there for algebra. And as usual, three questions, two to three questions from geometry and one, two questions from uh, PNC and other areas. So uh, the expected uh, breakup was there, still the questions were difficult. Sitters were very hard to find. People who were able to find those two, three questions which were easy, they will score well. Otherwise, they would struggle. So we expect uh, a 14 to 16 marks should uh, get you a 90 percentile in this particular slot. And all other values are written over there. So you can see a 99.9 .9 percentile. We believe that if you cross that three digit, that is 100, you are you will certainly are very close to getting a 99.9 .9 percentile this time. And if you are able to cross 80, 83, you would certainly get a 99. This is what our expectations say. Fine. Although it will depend on your raw score and then normalization, but this is what we believe. If we talk about slot number two, VA was slightly difficult, but DLR was relatively manageable because there were two cases which could, which one can solve. And thus there were people who were able to crack even three cases in slot number two. So we believe that DLR was relatively manageable in slot number two. Same is the case with QA. QA was also slightly easier. So it is expected that percentiles or the would actually the, the score needed to get a percentile will be relatively higher, two, three marks higher in slot number two. And here is the overall table. So we believe um, there it was 102. We believe 104 to 110 marks would get you a 99.9 .9 percentile in this section. And if I talk about 90, so as VA was slightly difficult to 21, 23, 
DLR manageable to 70 to 19, QA was slightly manageable to 15 to 17. So a 46 to 51 marks bracket. Uh, if you lie there, you would certainly get a 90 percentile and other values are written over here. Now let's move to the, the third slot. Well, normally CAT has uh, given easier slots in three, three. Normally slots three are easy, but this time it was the toughest section, toughest slot, sorry. So if you talk about slot three, it was the toughest. And we believe just by getting a 100 to 102 marks, you'd be able to crack that magic figure that is 99.9 percentile. .9%. If I talk about other areas, uh, VA was same as slot two difficulty level wise. If I talk about DLR, the difficulty level again rose to uh, close to slot one. And if I talk about QA, it was the toughest QA. So we believe the toughest slot for QA was slot three. VA was like slot two and DLR was like slot one. So overall, it was the toughest slot. And thus, uh, just by scoring a 44 to 49 marks, you should be uh, able to get a 90 percentile and all other figures are given over here. Before moving further, I would just like to say one thing that these are expectations. These expectations will materialize as soon as we'll have the raw scores and further when you will have the normalized scores. So uh, take it with a pinch of salt. And with this, I would like to end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day.